In this tutorial video we're going to be continuing our chapter on loops and more uh, specifically we're going to be looking at the next uh, loop statement which is called the do while loop. So a do while loop is similar to a while loop except that a do while is guaranteed to execute at least one time. Now what I mean by that is as you can see um, both statements are pretty similar except in the first one as you can see you have the um, expression that is tested at the top and in the do while loop uh, you have the expression that is tested at the bottom so that's the main difference between both of them I'm going to explain what that really does so coming back to the while loop if you remember in the previous video um, the key point of this loop is that it may not even run once. So when the expression here at the top is tested and the result is false, so let's say for example count is equal to a hundred, so this expression would be false. So what that would do is it would the um, the loop body, the contents of the loop would be skipped. So um, the loop wouldn't actually be executed, not even once, if the condition, if the expression at the top was false. In the case of the do while loop, you have the um, expression that is tested at the bottom. So, what that means is the loop, the content of that loop, of this loop, would at least be executed at least once. So that's the theory behind. Um, the do while loop and the difference, the main difference between the do while and the while loops. In the next uh, step, I'm going to show you an example um, of a do while loop just so you can get a better, a better hand of it. So, um, meet me in the next step. So, let's try a practical example of a do while loop. So let's start off by um, creating a variable named count, for example, with a value of 10. And then let's open up our do while loop by typing do, opening up the brackets. Next line, don't forget the indentation if it's not done automatically. And then we want to system.out.println and we want to display the following sentence, like so, and add the variable count at the end. Next line. Now we need to um, increment loop, um, excuse me, increment count, the variable count. I'm going to explain exactly why, even though I explained it in the previous video, but just to make sure you've understood. So you have to increment count, like so. And then we need to close our loop by um, uh, adding brackets, uh, adding a, a closing bracket at the end. Eclipse has already done it for us automatically, but so we just need to add to this closing bracket while count is inferior to twenty. So that's our um, that's our expression that has to be tested, our breaking condition, if you wish. So like so. So to recap. We started off by creating our variable count with a value of 10. Then we opened up our do while loop. Inside our do while loop, we, um, we've asked the program to print, to print out the following sentence, plus the, the variable at the end here. And then we incremented a count. Now, again, as I explained in the previous video, if we don't increment count, um, our variable will never reach the breaking condition. So let's say this is the breaking condition. If we don't have this uh, instruction to increment, like so, count will never change. Count will always stay at 10. So we'll have an infinite loop. So what we need to do is we need to increment count, increment when you increment a number or a variable, so you're basically adding one to it. When you increment count like this, you're adding one to it each time, each time the loop goes through, each time the loop repeats. 
So count is always changing and then it can reach the breaking condition which is uh, the condition that we're testing. So that's why it's very important to um, increment uh, the variables in your loop. So let's test to see if this works. And as you can see, we have the results here. It's not an, it's not an infinite loop. Um, so it's basically repeating the instruction until it reaches uh, 20, like it's written in our breaking condition at the end here. So that's how we use a do while loop. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the final loop statement, uh, which is the for loop.